Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Addington News. Darren, bit of history here, uh, overhead shot, of course, of cup days gone by, but uh, speaking of things gone by, Forbury Park last Thursday night, end of an era there, well over 100 years, and, and a massive turnover, including the last race, which I think had the highest turnover on it. It was the highest turnover for the day, the last race there, and they did over 1.1 million, so look, um, sad time for the club, but um, a, a great way to celebrate their last race winning. Yep, absolutely. Uh, we've got a winner of the roast ticket. Who was it? Stu McFarlane's our winner this week for liking Addington News, so we're going to carry on doing that till the end of the season, uh, another couple of weeks to go. So Stu's our winner this week and we'll be in touch with him. Yeah, with the iconic roast coming your way. Um, these midwinter, oh, I was part of last Friday night, gee, that place was packed in there and people were loving it. We've got another one next Friday and still room on the 6th of August. Yeah, 6th of August, there's still about 30 or 40 tickets there, so they are selling quick. That was the one that we, we put out after the other two sold out. Band after the races up there the other night, a bit of music after the races, they really enjoyed that. I know that the ones that went down had a bit of a go on the mobile gate, had a great time as well. So it's a good way to spend the night and they really enjoyed themselves. Macmillan National Junior Drivers title goes on the line Addington this week, Thursday and then into Sunday. When you think about some of our greatest drivers, it kicked off with Morris McKendry who won four on the bounce. The names like Hurlihy, Anthony Butt, David Butt won it, Blair, Orange, Mark, Jones. The list goes on and on and there's another opportunity for a young person this week. Yeah, look, HRNZ put a lot of work into the Junior Drivers Championships. Macmillan's a sponsor, of course, and had been for a wee while. The junior drivers really seek out an opportunity to get into the into the championship. It's a great weekend, they've got an extra day in between. We've been challenging putting fields together. Brian Rabbit's done a fantastic job to get those fields together so that those uh, young drivers get their opportunity and we're pleased to be able to host them this weekend. So good luck to all of the participants. North versus South, six from each. It should be a good old battle there. Uh, we raced Thursday night, got nine races, first at 5.25 and then we ended up with seven on Sunday. Yeah, so we've it short Sunday. Um, there were, you know, reasonable numbers last week. The junior drivers, as I say, it's a, a wee bit challenging. Some people aren't as fussed on putting a horse in those, but uh, we've got there. We're looking at a big Friday night next week, obviously with uh, midwinter as well, and uh, Friday by ourselves. Um, no galloping races during the day that week as well. So yeah, look, it's challenging this time of the year. It's been cold. Yeah, it has <laughs> been. It's been frosty. So who would want to be out there working yep. horses? You know, it's 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 a difficult time of the year, but um. They're under cover when they come here and uh, we're racing, so that's the main thing. A couple of people have passed that we want to acknowledge. Yeah, look, we do. Um, Kath Heffernan, uh, Pat's wife, uh, really instrumental around cup functions and things, Kath was. Uh, of course, they owned Enterprise, which competed in the cup. Cardinal Star was a good horse. Yep. Um, and she was great fun, Kath. And uh, look, thoughts go out to the family, David and, and the rest of the family. Uh, David, of course, heavily involved with Omaru, yep. uh, Harness Racing Club, as was Pat. And uh, Derek Neiman, who's passed away just recently, um, Sandra Mounts, trainer of Time in a Bottle, it's uh, Sandra's uncle. Um, not only that, but he was also a life member of Hornby Rugby League and a very big owner in the industry for harness racing. She is in a number of horses, including the Griffin Syndicate with Castle and Submission, um, more recently Majestic Man, a really good horse, plus a pile of others. Yep. Uh, and he really got a kick out of watching Time in a Bottle go round. Oh, the one she's, been round, years. she's been round a few times <laughs> lately and, and been going great. So look, um, thoughts go to the family there as well and uh, we know that uh, they'll be watching the races as they always do. Another family that's been instrumental in the Canterbury fabric of harness racing is the Cameron family and Kyle got a milestone here on Sunday. Yeah, so look, we want to leave you with Kyle's uh, double victory on Sunday. Not only did he drive them, but he trained them and of course uh, the first one, Big Mama Morris, massive group of owners here, a lot of first time owners that Jess uh, Davidson's got yep. involved in the horse. They bred the horse and uh, she was really impressive, yep. Big Mama Morris. And the optimist, at long odds, Kyle got, got that home as well. as well. So 100 driving wins for Kyle Cameron, also having his best season as a trainer. So good luck to him, and we'll leave you with those couple of races from last Sunday. One, three, the third quarter. Big Mama Morris quickly took over with Rosie's Terror into the clear. Rock and Vava, wider out, roll your ass. Big Mama Morris, Rock and Vava, deep on the track, roll your ass. Big Mama Morris, Rock and Vava, coming quickly. Big Mama Morris, Rock and Vava, Big Mama Morris.
Morris is holding on here, and Big Mama Morris. Big Mama Morris beats Rock and Vava. Third in Roll Your Rs, fourth either Rosie's Terror or Mark's Eliminator. 29.5. Better be on to it, leads motoring major, then came Avaros Rustler. Mark Amir looking to edge into the clear from Kansas City Gym. Better be on to it, the leader from Avaros Rustler. Mark Amir can't get out. Wide out is the Optimist and Octacan running on. Octacan moved up with the Optimist. The Optimist moved to the lead from Octacan and the Optimist. There's a hundred in the sulky for Kyle Cameron. The the Optimus gets there, gives him a double, beats home Octacan. 